Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Gate Geometrics Engineering. In this channel, we shall learn and explore geometrics engineering related domain. If you are new in this channel, then please go through our videos and subscribe to support us. And most importantly, give your valuable feedback in comment section for more improvement. In the last video, we have seen that GNSS space segment broadcast data and radio signal. Now in this video, we shall know about those data and signal in details. Broadcast data is mainly the navigation message, which consists of satellite time, status, health information, almanac data, and ephemerides data. Almanac data mainly consists of time status of its own and other satellite vehicles of its constellation. This is the almanac data, the typical almanac data, and this is the typical ephemerides data of GPS satellite, where ID gives the satellite identification number. Week means the current week of this GPS satellite, of particular that's GPS satellites. And these are the important data, ephemerides data, which given by the GPS satellite. And these are the important almanac data. Now, let us see the navigation message. This is a navigation message and navigation message consists of words, subframe, frame. Now each word consists of 30 bits and each subframe consists of 10 words. 10 words mean, means you can easily calculate that 10 into 30 that is 300 bits and this subframe consists of TLM and HOW. Now what is TLM? TLM means telemetry word and HOW means handover words. The subframe data is consists of TLM and HOW and each frame consists of 5 subframes. So you can easily calculate that each frame consists of 5 into 300 bits of data that is 1500 and one navigation message consists of 25 frames one navigation message consists of 25 frames that means 25 into 1500 that is somewhat 37500 bits data and this navigation message transfers at a speed of 50 bps. Now you can calculate easily the total time to transfer this navigation message. Calculate the total time to transfer this navigation message and write it in the comment section. Now let us move to the next slide. Navigation message can give us the information for positioning but we have seen that the navigation message is only consist of 37,500 bits of data that can't be transmitted without modulation on carrier radio signal. So we have to know about the carrier radio signals that is transmitted radio signal by the GPS satellites. Those are the carrier frequency and codes. L1, L2, L3 these are the GPS carrier frequency and course acquisition, precision, M code, these are the codes of GPS satellites. So, modulation is necessary to transmit radio signal. Let's see the types of modulation. One is amplitude modulation, one is frequency modulation, and one is phase modulation. So, what is amplitude, frequency, and phase? Suppose this is a wave. This, is, this distance is called the amplitude. And number of waves per unit time is called the frequency. And relative position of the wave with time, that is the phase. That means the 0 degree, 90 degree, that is the phase. That means this is 0 degree, this is 90 degree, minus 90, this is 90. These are the phase of the carrier frequency or the frequency. 
Now, what is amplitude modulation? Amplitude modulation is a technique of modulation in which amplitude of carrier varies in accordance with amplitude of modulating signal. That means with the amplitude of the code, the carrier frequency amplitude varies. Here you can see it. So the amplitude of carrier and code frequency varies and the, that is the modulated signal by amplitude modulation. Now, what is frequency modulation? You can see the frequency of the modulated signal is changing. That means the number of waves per unit time. You can clearly see it. So the frequency of the modulated signal or the carrier frequency is changing, but the phase and amplitude are constant. Now, let us see the phase modulation. In phase modulation, obviously the phase will change and the amplitude and frequency will be constant. Phase means that is from 0 degree that is going to the minus 90 degree but here that is from 0 degree it is going to the plus 90 degree. So the phase is changing based on the code frequency. For satellite navigation the satellite signals are modulated by phase modulation and most appropriately BPSK modulation that is binary phase binary phase shift key technique of modulation. What is BPSK modulation? BPSK is a digital modulation process which conveys binary code by changing the phase of reference signal. That is the BPSK modulation. Now let us move to the next slide. This is the basic structure or composition of navigation satellite signal where the data link layer is there, ranging code layer is there and physical layer is there and these are modulated and multiplied and then the signal in space is transmitted. Now let us move to the next slide. Now let us see the detailed satellite signal composition where fundamental frequency is 10.23 megahertz and the satellite codes are the PRN codes that means pseudo random noise codes commonly generated using linear feedback shift register technique. The two PRN codes are course, course acquisition code and the restricted precise code. The course acquisition code is freely available to the public and that is 1023 bit long pseudo random code broadcasted at a speed of 1.023 megahertz. That means you can easily find out the time to transmit this course acquisition code. You can find it one millisecond. That means the course acquisition code repeats in every milliseconds. Now let us move to the restricted P code. The restricted P code is actually a segment of the master P code. Master P code is of 2.35 and 10 to the power 14 bits long code. And this master P code consists of 37 restricted P code. Those are actually 6.187 into 10 to the power 12 bits long. If you divide this master P code by 37, you will find this restricted P code. The master P code transmitted at a speed of 10.23 megahertz and the restricted P code also transmitted at a speed of 10.23 megahertz. By this, you can find out the, that the master P code transferred at 37 weeks and it repeats after 37 weeks and the restricted P code repeats only once a week. If you divide this 6.187 into 10 to the power 12 by 10.23 into 10 to the power 6 that is megahertz you will find that is 7 days or 1 week. Now let us move to the carrier frequencies. The carrier frequencies are L1, L2, L3, L4 and L5. In those carrier frequencies L1 and L2 is used for navigation purpose and these codes are also used for navigation purpose. The L1 carrier frequency is 154 times of fundamental frequency that is 10.23. If you multiply that 10.23 with 154 you will find out that 1575.42 megahertz. That is mix of navigation message, course acquisition code and P code. These all are mixed up and by antenna this is transmitted. Now let us move to the L2 carrier frequency. L2 carrier frequency is 120 
times of fundamental frequency if you multiply this 120 with 10.23 megahertz then you will find that 1227.60 megahertz that consists of p code that is restricted p code and navigation message you will find it here that after modulating here it will transmit it from by the antenna now let us move to the l3 l4 and l5 l3 is 1381.05 megahertz long code and used by the defense support program to signal detection of missile launches nuclear detonations and other high energy infrared events l4 is used for the ionospheric correction and l5 proposed for use as a civilian safety of life signal so that's all about the information broadcasted data and transmitted radio signal by the satellites from the next video onwards we shall see the data collection methods principle of gnss etc by that time please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more updates thank you